this is PowerPoint lesson six, the second lesson using transitions. This is a document you should have open up. It says if necessary, click enable editing. I didn't have to do that. So if you need to do that, do that. Select slide one, click the transitions tab. And in the transition to this slide group, we're gonna click shape. On the transitions tab and the transitions to this slide group, click effect options right here and then click plus. On the transitions tab and the timing group, change the duration to four seconds. Right now it's at one. So I'm going to bump that up to four. Select slide two. Transitions. We're going to change this to vortex. As soon as I find it. Change the effects options to from top. Set the duration to two seconds. Select slide three. We want to find the fracture. It's like a broken glass. Then on the transitions tab in the timing group over here. Change advanced slide to after five seconds. Go to slide four. I'm going to change this or make this one page curl. Slide five blinds. Switch to slide sorter view. So click view. Slide sorter. Select all the slides. Pull down the control button and click on each one of them. In the timing group, click on mouse. So you got to go back to the transitions. We want to deselect right over here on the mouse click. Set the advanced slide after position to two seconds. Press F5 to view the presentation as a slideshow. The slides are going to automatically advance after two seconds and then we'll press escape. escape after they're done you saw all the transitions and yours should have advanced automatically open the morphing eagle presentation from your resources folder select slide one press control D and that will duplicate that slide select slide 2 click the 3d model to select it in the ribbon click the 3d model tools format 
In the 3D model views group, click default view. It's the one on the top left right here. And that will change the view of the model. In the size group, click the size and position dialog box launcher. In the properties tab, expand the position setting. Set the horizontal position to 3.84 from the top left corner. Set the vertical position to 1.68 from the top left corner. Expand the size settings if necessary. Mine's already expanded. Set the height to 3.7. Then close the format 3D model task pane. Click the transitions tab in the ribbon. In the transition to this slide group, click morph first one right there. In the timing group, set the duration to 2.25. In the preview group, click preview to watch the transition. So you see the eagle fly in there. Mark that as answered. Submit. Should have two green check marks. And we do. So this completes using transitions.